Meshatile biography, wife, qualifications, contact details, political career and latest news. Paul Meshatile biography. Paul Meshatile who full name Paul Shipakosa Meshatile who was born on 21st October 1961 in Geraldsville, Pretoria in South Africa. He is the former Minister of Arts and Culture in the Cabinet of South Africa. Mashatile is currently the Minister of Arts and Culture in the Cabinet of South Africa. When he was a student, he was an activist in the struggle against apartheid as a member of the Congress of South African Students. He was also the co-founder and first president of Alexandra Youth Congress. He was detained without trial from 1985 to 1989 and participated in a nationwide protest by engaging in an 18-day hunger strike. When the African National Congress and the South African Communist Party were unbanned in 1990, he helped re-establish them and continued to organize on their behalf. He has held various administrative positions in Gwadeng Province, including serving in its legislature as leader of the House. Paul Mashatile Married Paul Mashatile Wife Paul Mashatile Daughter. He is a married man of child, Polisa Mashatile. Paul Mashatile Education B A C K G R O U and D Paul Mashatile Qualifications. He attended Alexandra High School, Gauteng, South Africa. He has a postgraduate diploma in economic principles from the University of London. Paul Mashatile Political Career. When Mashatile was still a student, he was an activist in the struggle against apartheid as a member of the Congress of South African Students and was the co founder and first president of the Alexandra Youth Congress. At the age of 23, Paul Mashatile was elected the Assistant General Secretary of the United Democratic Front UDF Southern Transvaal Region and later became its General Secretary from 1989 until the unbanning of political parties in 1990, when the UDF was dissolved. In 1985 he was detained without trial and was released in 1989. While in detention he participated in a nationwide protest by engaging in an 18-day hunger strike. In 1990 after the unbanning of African National Congress and the South African Communist Party, he helped re-establish them and continued to organize on their behalf. He was appointed as General Secretary of the SACP in Gauteng. He was also as the ANC branch organizer in Alexandra and branch chairperson for SACP. He also served on the interim leadership group of the ANC in the Pretoria Witwaters and Baranajang PWV region of the former Transvaal. In 1992, he was elected the provincial secretary of the ANC, a position he held until 1998. In 1994, he became a member of the Gauteng legislature and was appointed as leader of the House, serving ex officio in the Gauteng cabinet. In 1996 he was appointed as Gauteng's mech for transport and public works. He held many positions and in the Gauteng provincial government, handling the portfolios of safety 1998 to 1999 housing 1999 to 2004 and finance and economic affairs 2004 to 2008. In 1998 Paul Mashatile became deputy chairperson of the Yankin Gauteng and in 2007 he was elected chairperson of the province. In 2008 he took up the role of premier of Gauteng after the resignation of Nazima Shalowa. In November 2010 Paul Mashatile was appointed as Minister of Arts and Culture in the South African Parliament a position he held until 2014. Paul Mashatile Political Positions 2010-2014, Minister of Arts and Culture 2009-2010, Deputy Minister of Arts and Culture 2008-2009, Premier of Gauteng 2004-2008, Met, Finance and Economic Affairs 1999-2004, Member of Executive Council, Housing. 1994-1996, Leader of House Gauteng Legislature. 1992-1996, Provincial Secretary, National Executive Committee. 1992-2010, Secretary, South African Communist Party. 
1991-1994, Head of Political Education PWB Region. 1985-1991, General Secretary of United Democratic Front. Ang Smash Atile urges private investment into Eskom, other state firms. Ang Treasurer General Paul Mashatil on Thursday invited private investors to take up equity stakes in state-owned companies, saying Eskom was one of the places this can happen. We need to make sure we can restructure and get Eskom to operate efficiently, and one of the things we've agreed to do as the ruling party, we want to invite private investors into our parastatals, Mashatil said at a South Africa-Russia investment panel discussion in Rosebank. Mashatile said the ANC had debated whether to privatize Fox, but decided instead to invite participation from private equity partners. Some of our parastatals, of course, are looking for loans, but where we can get investors to come in, we will appreciate that, Mashatile said. His remarks come days after Eskom declared of our 2.3 billion loss and our 19 billion in irregular expenditure for the 2017-2018 financial year. Eskom is one of the biggest parastatals that we have. They are actually the engine driving the economy, there is a lot of discussion how you can make Eskom operate efficiently, said Mashatile. Mashatile echoed his view, expressed earlier this week, that his preference was for Eskom to be broken up into three operating units, dealing with transmission, generation, and distribution. However, he said this discussion was still ongoing. Meanwhile, as Russian President Vladimir Putin landed in South Africa on Thursday morning to attend the 10th annual BRICS summit, underway in Santon, Mashatile called on Russian companies to increase their presence and investment in SA, saying sectors such as renewable energy and infrastructure development presented opportunities for businesses. He steered clear of mentioning nuclear power which President Cyril Ramaphosa has described as currently unaffordable for SA. Russian state-owned nuclear company Rosatom was among the bidders for a multi-billion rand nuclear deal with SA, and activists and opposition political parties questioned whether the country was being favored for the contract. A high court ruling invalidated a potential nuclear deal with Russia in 2017, and early in 2018, Energy Minister Jeff Radov confirmed the deal was still off the table, 